Yo, YouTube, what's going on? Uh, today's obviously a bit different of a video. Fucking, um, I haven't been posting on my YouTube at all. Mainly because I don't know what content to post and I thought I'd start like posting reaction videos and shit. Um, I'll be posting a Yabby video probably this week, if not next week, but um, anyways, that's irrelevant. Um, yeah, so I thought like, well, I'm really trying to grow my YouTube, you know, because I really want to start making money on social media and that. I've got the I've got the potential to do it, so I need to fucking act on it. I thought a good way to start is just to start posting more on YouTube, and like I said, a great way to do that is by reacting to shit. So if there's something you want me to react to, preferably something funny or like um something like a song or something, preferably metal. If you're gonna re if you're gonna recommend me a song, metal would be. Gr I'm wearing a Shadow of Intent shirt right now. I, lo I love my heavy metal, so. If you've got like a band you want me to check out or something, drop that down below, I'll check it out. Just, yeah, I'm going to start really, really focusing on my YouTube, you know. So today we're reacting to Meat Canyon, obviously. I haven't, I haven't watched this, obviously. Um, I've watched just about all of his videos, though. I'm a massive fan of Meat Canyon. Fuck, his content is fucked up, but God damn it, is it fucking funny. Ah, my first slumber party. Let's fucking get it. Got my fucking Zinger stacker box. All right, what you got for us, Meat Canyon? Hello, I'm Meat Canyon. I thought I would take a break from the parodies for a moment and tell you all a story from my life. A little chapter out of my book called My First Slumber Party. I was eight years old. The sun was beginning to set and I was full of excitement for the night ahead. Me and my friend Luke had been hanging out for a couple hours, playing video games and exchanging our collection of Pokemon cards. Luke's mother had a gorgeous smile, offering us a never-ending supply of banana slices for snacks. It was a normal night, at least so I thought. Time for bed! We have church in the morning, and we have to get up real early! An ocean of disappointment flooded over me. I was not aware this was a part of the plan. When I think about going to heaven, it makes me just so happy. I want to go there so bad. I want to see my grandma and my grandpa. My youth pastor says they're waiting for me. I'll race you to my room. He left me there alone <coughs> to traverse the darkness of his house all by myself. Standing confused, I knew I had to push forward. I wasn't going to be the weird kid sitting alone at a friend's house. I had far too much pride. <laughs> Luke's mother was at the sink washing dishes normally, but what caught my eye was the table. While giving us a never-ending supply of cut-up bananas, Luke's mother recklessly put the banana peels all over the Pokemon cards. Most notably, my Blaziken card which I was obsessed with, since he was my starter in Ruby. I caught her attention by saying, Hey, my dad paid a lot for these cards. She approached me with her beautiful smile. Would you like a snack before bed? I'm sorry for the tears. Mr. Roberts hasn't been acting normal lately. He's been... Luke's mother began to tremble talking about something, but I couldn't pay any attention. From the corner of my eye, I noticed something. A 40 count bag of combination pizza rolls. Which was fucked because all she offered all night was cut up bananas. It's like, if you have pizza rolls, why not just throw a couple in the oven for your guest? I Let agree. alone a child. But I digress. Hey, I'm up here. Come on. Come. It's time for prayer before bed. Okay tonight. That was such a weird sounding laugh. Don't judge me in the comments for that. I'm sorry, I just did not fucking see that coming. <laughs> Fuck. Hey, do you want to play Donkey Konga? 
I didn't give an answer. I remained silent and still. Suddenly, I was blinded by the light from Luke's TV. And there he was, hitting the plastic bongo drums and giggling to himself. But I noticed something. I noticed that the door was still cracked, and the father was still lingering, looking into the room, right at I my still eyes. Don't know where the fuck this is going. He pulled out a banana and started to eat it. The slow rotation of his jaw grating like steel on steel, his eyes never blinking, only staring, forever staring. <coughs> And that's where my memory ends. And I have always been fascinated with religion and the afterlife ever since then. Though it leaves a sour taste in my mouth with a hint of banana. Take care, everyone. Good night, everybody. That's it. Not gonna lie. Disappointed as fuck. I was, uh... Yeah. That sort of sucks, man. I'm not gonna lie. I thought I thought I was in for a real treat. I think I laughed twice. Um, once when the fucking dude had his cock right near the kid's face, and um, yeah, and the mum reveal when I saw her beautiful smile. Yeah, nah. I'm gonna be completely honest. That that sort of blows. Um, yeah. <laughs> oh well. What am I reacting to next? And uh, like I said, don't worry, I'm not gonna be posting only reaction videos. I will be um, posting like my original content on YouTube, just not as, just not as much of it, because I mainly only post on TikTok, so. But yeah, that's about it, guys. I'm just as, I'm just as disappointed as you can are. I fucking suck, dude. <laughs> well, I fucking leave you cunts to it. Thanks for watching. Subscribe if you want to. If you don't want to, I don't fucking care. Hit the like button though. If you hit that dislike button, just don't. Do yourself a favor and don't hit the dislike button. But yeah, I'll fucking leave you cunts to it. Thanks for fucking watching.